Hi guys, now you are going to learn about substitution theorem. Okay, substitution as the name itself indicates that any branch can be substituted with similar characteristics. Okay, so according to this theorem, a linear network, any branch can be substituted, any branch can be substituted by another branch means one branch can be replaced with another branch but we should not disturb the voltages and currents in the network okay according to this theorem we can substitute the branches okay we can substitute one branch by another branch okay we can substitute one by another but, but the voltages and currents in the networks should not be changed. Okay. So, provided that new branch has same set of terminal voltage and current as that of original network. Okay. So, let us consider, let us consider this one as the network, any network, whatever so it may be. Okay. To which, let us say, a resistor is there in this network like this R is the resistance through which a current I is flowing okay so by using substitution theorem what we have to do is here we have to remove this branch that is we have to remove the resistance parameter by some voltage source okay some voltage source but only the thing is we should not disturb the voltages and current source. Okay. So then what will be the magnitude of that voltage? V is equal to I into I into R. So now this resistance parameter, this is the network. Okay. And this resistance parameter is replaced with a voltage source like this that is V okay, through which current I is flowing. Now again in the next step what I am going to do is I am going to remove this voltage source by a current source. Okay. So now I have to remove the voltage source with some current source. What is the magnitude of that current? That current magnitude is I. Okay. So, like that, without disturbing the voltages and currents in the network, okay, we are substituting one branch with another branch. Okay. And the only thing is, the new branch has same set of terminal voltage and current as that of Original network. Okay. So, here what I am doing is, I am going to consider a very simple network. A very small network like this. Okay. Let us consider a 10 volts voltage source like this. Okay. Voltage is 10 volts. And to which an 8 ohms resistor is connected to which is a 12 ohms resistor. This one is 8 ohms resistor. These two resistors are connected like this. Let us say V1 is the voltage flowing through this network. Here the voltage division will take place as it is a series network. A voltage division will takes place. So, they are V1 and V2. V1 and V2. Okay. So, according to voltage division rule, what about V1? V1 is equal to Vr1. Vr1 in the sense, what is V10 into, what is R1? 8 by total resistance. What is total resistance? 12 plus 8. 20, which is 4 volts. Okay, the voltage across this 8 ohms resistance is how much? 4 volts. And 
Now the voltage V2 again by voltage division rule V into same resistance 12 by total resistance 20 that is 2 which is equal to 6 volts. Okay. Now across 12 ohms resistance 6 volts is the voltage flowing. 6 volts is the voltage flowing. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to remove the 12 ohms resistance with an voltage source. Going to remove the 12 ohms resistance with an voltage source. I am redrawing the circuit. What is this one? This one is a volts voltage source to which in 8 ohms resistor is connected. What I am doing is I am replacing the 12 volts resistance with a voltage source which is having a magnitude of 6 volts like this. Okay. Now, what is the voltage across 8 ohms resistance? 10 minus 6 it is 4 volts. 4 volts. Okay. So, there is a no change in the voltage in the circuit. There is no change in the voltage in the circuit. Now, what I am going to do is, here I am going to replace this 6 volts voltage source with a current source. If you want to, if you want to replace the 6 volts voltage source with a current source, then we have to go like this. Okay, what is the current in this 12 ohms resistance? 12 ohms resistance. What is the formula for I? I is equal to V by R. That is 6 by 12 which is equal to 0.5 amperes. 0.5 amperes. Okay. Now, I am replacing the voltage source with current source like this. Which is equal to 0.5 amperes. Which is equal to 0.5 amperes and this one is 8 ohms. 0.5 amperes and this one is 8 ohms. Okay, let us check this uh, once whether it is true or not. Okay, what is the current flowing in this circuit? It, as it is a series combination, the total resistance is 20 ohms. 20 ohms. Voltage is 10 volts. Then current I is equal to V by R. 10 by 20 which is equal to 0.5 amperes. Okay, so here how much current is flowing? 0.5 amperes. Okay, this is the substitution theorem. Okay, thank you.